Hello, this is Ron Clymer from Keller Williams Realty in Ormond Beach, Florida. Yesterday I did a video and I mentioned that foreclosure is one of the things that I do go to the courthouse and search out foreclosures and call people and see if I can help them. And I commented that one of the things I run across often is that the, the death of a person is what causes foreclosure and I suggested a solution for that but that got me thinking about it and this is not one of the common causes of foreclosure but it's one of the things that happens when foreclosure caused by death comes about and I'd like to just give you a extreme illustration but many years ago I called a family that was being foreclosed on and I went out to look at the house. The house was empty and it was just a plain old house in a not so hot neighborhood. And, uh, but it was, a, it was a decent house and I, I had a hard time getting in touch with the owner. But I finally contacted a person indirectly and they said, yes, I own that house. They said, my father owned that house for 25 years and he he passed away and now it belongs to me and my four siblings and the mortgage on it the house is worth about eighty thousand dollars and the mortgage on it was like ten thousand dollars it just wasn't very much the payments were a hundred dollars a month and he'd been guy had been paying on the mortgage for 25 years and it ended up that I did my arithmetic, got with him and did the details, and I said, well, it looks like that, uh, you know, I should be able to get you and your siblings about $15,000 a piece instead of this house going to foreclosure. And a house was about halfway to foreclosure, which in Florida at that time was about a six months process. And it was about halfway down the road. And so, we ended up getting together with all of the siblings, but just before closing, one of the siblings decided that she didn't want $15,000 like everybody else was getting, but she should get $25,000 for some reason. And they ended up fighting and arguing about that. Now, there wasn't much I could do to intervene with that, but they all five had to sign off on it for us to go to closing. And a lot of times, family squabbles, now incidentally, the $10,000 mortgage on an $80,000 house and it's being foreclosed on because none of those five siblings wanted to make the $100 a month payments. Surely one of them was financially able or they could have all paid $20 a month, but they were just fighting amongst themselves. And so my point is, if you inherit a house and oftentimes I'm not sure, but I think about half the people that die, die with no will. And so as a consequence, we end up with five siblings or three siblings or something of that nature uh, owning the house. Don't get into fights and arguments and not make the payments. Make the payments on the house. Uh, figure out, somebody's going to make the payments and we'll reimburse you when we close it and that could be whoever's the most financially able of the of the siblings and oftentimes with siblings you have one that's financially able and one that's maybe struggling so but don't get into that with your with your siblings if you do inherit a house because that's not the only time i've ever seen that i've seen it plenty the only thing more fun than that is when you have step siblings and then that can really be uh, uh, too much fun for the realtor but don't be sitting around letting the house be foreclosed on while you're arguing with somebody else and because they can get foreclosed on and next thing you know your equity's down the drain and that's just no good this is ron climber if i can help you with any kind of real estate anywhere in daytona uh, give me a call that's what i do and um, if you're being foreclosed on give me a call i do that and uh, so let me know if i can help you if you got any questions about real estate, just call me on the phone, send me an email, 
ronclimber at yahoo.com. And I'm constantly trying to come up with new subjects, so if you got something you want to know, send me a question or just subscribe to me and you'll find out something that you need to know that you didn't even know you need to know. Good luck. Stay in touch.